we're back for another episode of The Space, a mindfulness podcast that's not like the others. I'm your host, Casey Donovan. Together with our writer, Amy Malloy, every Monday we get on a roll with mindfulness tips to clear your head and boost your focus. Do you love your job? Before you answer, get honest. There isn't a right or a wrong answer to this question. Your boss can't hear you. We won't tell your co-workers. We're here to normalise a very normal situation. Going to work and not loving it with a passion. There, we said it. Don't we all feel better for it? Writer Jennifer Nini put it perfectly on her Instagram page, Eco Warrior Princess. In a post, she wrote, Not everyone who goes to work loves their job. And that's okay. The why we work can be more important. What motivates you to go to work? You know the saying, do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. For most people, this phrase is just not realistic. I mean, it sounds great, but the pessimist in us says, cute quote, but I'll live in the real world. But most of us work jobs that are sort of fine. They aren't our life's purpose, but they're okay for right now. And that's okay. Remembering your why is the important bit. Maybe it's paying off your student debt, providing for your family, or just trying to get your start on a career ladder. So, let's get really honest in this safe space. Have you been pretending to love your job when you don't? Even if you do love your job, do you still have really shitty days? Yes, Even the best job is really shit sometimes. Doesn't it feel better to be able to admit it? Mindfulness isn't about papering over the cracks. It's all about being honest and accepting, taking the pressure off of ourselves, fighting the urge to be perfect, and learning how to be grateful for the normal grind of life. So let's put it to you on this Monday morning. Why are you grateful for your job? Even if it's a job that feels like work, does it give you work-life balance? Do you have the ability to switch off when you leave the office? Does caring less give you the chance to live more? Most of all, let's give shame the flick. It's perfectly acceptable even enviable, if your work isn't your passion. A big part of mindfulness is the art of non-attachment, not attaching your identity to one job or one company. So you don't love your job? In the long run, that will give you more emotional freedom. The most important part is your why, says Jennifer. If you're heading into work today, she says... What is your motivation to do so? It can be money. It can be loyalty. It can be a lack of other options. It can be friendship. It can be boredom. These are very valid reasons. You don't have to love your job to love your life. You've been listening to The Space with me, your host, Casey Donovan, a podcast written by Amy Malloy. We're back tonight with another mind-shifting topic. Are you expecting too much of your friendships? Space out.